Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks War Gaming and welcome to our latest Bolt Action Battle Report. I think both of us are actually really looking forward to getting uh, Bolt Action back onto the channel. Yeah. it's It's been a little while since we played a game of Bolt Action. Yeah, there's been something going on in the world which kind of... Um, <laughs> yeah, prevented know, us. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, don't know what that was, but it prevented us for about two and a half years. Yeah, to um, actually get together and actually film a decent game of yeah, Bolt yeah, Action. Yeah. Um, that being said, during that time... I have been adding to the British uh, forces that we've got, and today we're running about a thousand points each. Yeah. Um, and for the first time, it's solely just the British. The last time they were out, they had some help from their American cousins, uh, but this time it is solely just the British on the battlefield. And obviously, they're going to be taking on Robin and the German forces today. Yeah, and we've got a lovely looking table for you. That's another thing that we've been adding a lot of foreground scenery, so there is some nice new bits for you to look at. I've definitely been busy during certain times adding units and adding uh, scenery to it and yeah Robin's right we are I'm quite happy with this battlefield we always yeah, try to good. pride ourselves on, on our bolt action battlefields and, and uh, this one is pretty damn yeah, good it's, actually. It, it's slightly different from what we usually do we usually do sort of more of a I don't know like a, a sort of a town or something like that whereas this is more sort of a, a rural farming community we've yeah. got here so yeah we've got a bit more rural with this one uh, while we're talking about the scenery I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody at Foreground that has yeah. helped support us as we film this Foreground are closing down yeah it's such uh, a shame it is a massive shame it's, it's going to leave a big hole in the in the, the hobby I think because their scenery is second to none yeah. it is absolutely amazing and the support that we've had from Foreground has been unprecedented and absolutely fantastic so I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody in foreground and, and best luck for the future whatever that brings yeah. um, I think they are still open they now are, as we're filming this so if you see anything on this terrain table that you really like you need to go and order it straight away yeah you do because it's not going to be around forever no um, but anyway today's game so the mission that we're doing today is point defense uh, we rolled off before we started filming and the Germans are going to be the defenders and then the British are going to be attacking. So the three um, objectives that Robin has chosen and I basically need to take two of them to win the game. If, we, if I take one, it is a draw and if Robin holds on to them, he wins. Simple as that. A um, like thousand points, there isn't a load of forces in here. British are quite light. We've got one tank. Yeah, we, we've got quite a veteran heavy army as well. So. I'm paratroopers, so I'm British Airborne. So I'm, I've taken veterans, um, basically to try and help improve the, the dice rolling and situations that we might get ourselves in. Uh, there's going to be a fair bit of ground to cover before mm -hmm. I can get to the objective. So that's going to make it interesting as well. But there is cover on the route, so that's always good and handy to have as well. Um, and I get to do preliminary, preliminary, preliminary bombardment, so I might get to scare you a little bit mm. or damage you. Kill so you. it's just a little bit of scaring rather than a little bit of damaging because <laughs> yeah. I've only got six units in my entire army. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm I have to admit, I'm really looking forward to buy actually. I think this is such a great game and I'm really excited to get another battle, uh, battle report film for Bolt Action. Yeah, and hopefully you'll see more of these in the near future yeah definitely keep an eye out for more bolt action content coming very soon but should we go and have a look at the armies my german force for today uh, it's quite a small but elite force uh, it is led by a platoon commander uh, which is a lieutenant um, veteran uh, with a man and they've both got assault rifles my two compulsory choices, I've got the Grenadiers. In that squad, uh, we've got an NCO with an SMG. There's a regular soldier with an SMG. Uh, there's a LMG, uh, there's two assault rifles, and then five regular soldiers with rifles. Then we have the Waffen uh, SS. These are a uh, veteran squad. Uh, the NCO has got an assault rifle, uh, there are four normal rifles, uh, three three guys with assault rifles and then there's two LMGs in that squad. So lots of firepower to be pumped out of that squad there. Uh, we have the um, infantry support, uh, the Panzerschreck team, uh, again veterans and uh, a flamethrower, my favourite we get some nice crispy critters with these and these are also veterans 
and then rounding out the force we have the most beautiful tank from the Second World War in my opinion uh, the Panther and uh, it's basically completely WYSIWYG so it's got the two MMGs and the super heavy anti-tank gun uh, so yes very very tasty that is and that comes to just about a thousand points This is the British forces for today. They are being led by a first lieutenant, also a free forward observer. We have three squads of British airborne. In here there is an NCO, there are three SMGs and an LMG in all of these squads. We also have a sniper team and a Piat team. We have a Sherman tank and we have a 17 pounder anti tank gun as well so that is the british forces coming in at just over a thousand points so here is our battlefield for today like robin was saying in the intro we have gone a little bit more rural the Germans defensive area is on this side and Robin's objective so his first objective is this bunker here inside of that there is a squad of Waffen SS Inside the next objective, which is this house here, there is a flamethrower squad on the very ground floor. And behind them we have a panther tank. And then the third of the objectives is this building just here. The British will be coming on from this side of the battlefield and have to work their way through the ruined farmhouses and the forest. And obviously we have the windmillers cover and we've got some hedgerows to try and get in to the Germans. Uh, Robin has left three squads in reserve, so they're going to be coming on, and obviously all of the British start in reserve. So uh, yeah, let's head over to turn one. As this battle is about to unfold, the British forces are going to call in the RAF. We're going to get some covering preliminary bombardment before we move in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the dice on the bunker here, which is the um, Waffen SS. Now these guys get a minus one because they're inside of the bunker and it's a three so that would become a two. I'll just take one pin marker on them. One pin marker. Then we're going to go to the flamethrower squad inside the building right the way down there. They get a four Robin. Uh, two pin markers on them. And then finally your tank which is a three. Uh, one pin marker. Okay a couple of pin markers down that's not horrendous. So here we go then, first pick out of the dice bag, Robin is going first, it's a British dice. First of the British units are on the battlefield, I have advanced them up, they are now nicely protected by a bit of hard cover there with that wall. Second dice out of the bag is going to be a German dice. For the first of the German dice, Robin has moved his Lieutenant onto the battlefield and he's gone into that middle objective building there. Robin, it is your turn to pull the next dice out of the bag. Please be British, please be British, please be British. Here's another German. Next of Robin's units have come on. Robin has put down the run command on them and the Grenadiers have now occupied the third of the objectives in Robin's half of the battlefield. So over to the dice bag once again. We've got a British dice. The British have brought on their Sherman tank. I only advanced it and I took a shot with its cannon at the German grenadiers inside that building, but unfortunately I missed. It's over, <laughs> yeah, literally that's what happened. Uh, so Robin, over to you, next dice out of the bag, please, sir. It's a German. So Robin's next dice out has been put against his Pandashrek team and they came up against the wall there, so he's, uh, he's ran them on. So the next dice out of the bag is a British dice. Next, the British squads are on, brought my next Infantry squad on from the back of the board just to sit alongside the other squad giving me options now Robin over to you. Do you want to pick a dice out? Not a German dice not a German dice. It is not a German dice now We think we're reading this correctly with all of the rules the sniper team has advanced up Stopped against the wall the sniper has then taken a shot at the panzer strike guy I hit and I killed one of the guys. It's always an exceptional shot so I pick and I picked the guy carrying the Panzer Shrek. So he's now dead. Comment below if we've done any of that wrong, but you know what, I think we've got that right. Um, rolled a five to hit and a rolled a six to, to wound, so it, it was all good from that point of view. Next dice out of the bag will be 
it's another British. So Robin's Panzerstrike team have uh, passed them around, so they're absolutely fine. With the British dice coming out of the bag, I have put that onto the third squad of Airborne, and they're now in the orchard on the left-hand flank of this battlefield. Obviously, we have the three targets that we're looking at. Robin, it's your turn to pull the dice out. Do you want to pull another British dice out of that bag for well, me, please? Well, soon now it's all British dice in here, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, well, the British have got more units. It's uh, another British dice. The British dice I put onto the forward observer, which is now just down in the ruined farmhouses to the right-hand flank. Give me some nice lines that I can uh, hopefully put his marker down. Uh, Robin, it is your turn to draw a dice. Might actually be mine, but I'm feeling generous. Doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll be a British dice. And, and damn it, damn it. Robin has put his fire command down onto the Waffen SS inside of the bunker. Uh, we've got normal assault rifles looking out of this window. They can't see anything, but LMGs outside of the front window can see things. So which ones are you shooting at? You're shooting at this squad yeah, here. Yeah, the closest squad there. Um, I've passed my order, so I've cleared the pin. Uh, so these will be hitting on, well, sixes, because you're in hard cover. Yeah, so, you, uh, you get an extra dice because of Hitler's Hitler assault. Yes, yeah, so there's 10 shots coming in. Oh dear. Sixes. Ooh, that's, uh, a, that's cheeky. A, that's a Richard roll if ever you've seen one. I knew that was going to be said then. Uh -huh. I don't know what you're talking about. And uh, you're veterans as well. On I am ones, indeed. So, uh, fives to kill and nobody. So yeah, all the shots ricochet off the wall, but I do take a pin. It's my turn to pull the dice out of the bag. There is a few British left in here. There's one German dice left. Which I've just pulled out the bloody bag. That'll be the tank then. That will be the tank then. So the Panther tank has had the advanced orders put on it, and then Robin is going to be splitting his shots, and the main super heavy anti tank is going against the Sherman. Uh, yeah. Obviously. So. <laughs> yeah, then that might be the case. And then the MMGs are going against where? Uh, this squad here. This one? Yeah. Okay, fine then. So, so let's the MMGs first. So these six, will be hitting on sixes. Sixes to hit me. Because of range and hardcover. Oh, here we go again. Another three sixes. Not bad. It's all right. I won't kill anyone. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you say that now, and then you'll just roll loads of fives, and it'll just be like, oh, look. That'd be nice. Squad wiped. Uh, just the one, and it's an exceptional. Yeah, one dead. You can pick anybody that you want to pick. Uh, what have you got in there? Is there... Um, so, Dave. Oh, okay. Jeff. Which one's called Richard? None of this squad. Oh. Sorry. Is there a Richard in this squad? <laughs> No. Oh, okay. If I, I'll kill the NCO. If I'm going to be anybody, I'm going to be the mate. I'm going to be the leader of this goddamn bunch. I'll kill the NCO. Oh, damn it! I thought we was all done. Then I thought, yeah, the tank's done. We're all good. No, no, no. Forgotten about the main cannon. So four plus. Four plus to hit the Sherman. <gasps> yes. It's a six. Super heavy anti tank guns. Pretty good, apparently. Apparently so. Plus Put, seven to this roll. And I'm on I'm, the nine. Oh so, dear. Uh, on a two plus, yeah. I'm gonna do stuff. You are gonna do stuff. You watch me roll a one. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes! Right, next dice out the bag. I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna just try to destroy my tank with a not very nice thing. Uh, right, time for the British. The next of the British units that has come on is my anti tank cannon. Uh, set him up at the back of the battlefield, giving me nice ranges and views of fire, but also putting me some hard cover between me and the stupid panther tank. Robin, next dice out. There is one German dice left. There are two British dice left. It's another British dice. Next to the British units is on, and it's me. And there he is, the first lieutenant. Dicky Hope. Dicky. I'll take that. So anyway, we're on. We're all on. More dice to take out the bag. Two left, I think. So. Two left is a 50-50. What's it going to be? So the last of the German dice was put down on the flamethrower squad that was inside that building. Basically, Robin put a rally down and uh, got away with all their pin markers. And then the last of the British dice, the Piat team have come on there, just there by the ruined farm buildings as well. So that is the end of turn one. All of the forces are now on to the battlefield. It's over to the British to push forward. Let's take these objectives. <laughs> First dice out of the back for turn two will be a German dice. So Robin's first dice he put down onto the Panther tank. He's shot down at the squad with the SMGs, killing off another man here. 
Got another the, exceptional. You did roll a six on that one, didn't you? And yeah. then you killed off the... LMG dude. Yeah, the LMG dude. So he's dead. Uh, Robin's then rolled for his main cannon. Yep, that's going against the Sherman. So he's hit. Can't possibly roll a one again. Roll me a one again, please. Oh, he's dead. Robin's now going to roll on the damage t- table. But because he got massive damage, he obviously rolls twice. So the first one is... A six. That's three sixes in a row. She's three sixes in a row. It's knocked out, destroyed, wrecked. Everybody inside is dead. Everybody Boom. inside is dead, Dave. Let's see what I would have rolled on the second one. A two. Shot you immobilised me. Congratulations. This is always a sad sight to see. <laughs> and your tank is on fire. Let's take another dice out of this bag and let's see what happens next. It's a British dice. Mm, wonder where I might be putting this dice. Okay, anti-tank gun to fire. It's a medium anti-tank. Firing down at the Panther, obviously. So I need fours to hit this in stationary. Now that's not going to do it. Robin's turn to pick. It's a British dice. The forward observer has been placed down with the fire marker. Um, and basically what I've done is I've placed the marker down on top of the bunker with the Vaffen in. I need to scare those guys or kill them off to allow me to come up and take that uh, bunker. So yeah, that was that. And then over to the dice bag for the next round. It's a German. So Robin's dice, he put them down next to the Grenadiers down here, put the fire order on them. They shot down at the airborne down here. They hit no damage, but an extra pin marker now, which is a little bit annoying. But back over to the dice bag. It's. I'm going to stop doing this. Grey again. It's a grey one. Don't want all mine out. Tough. Robin put the fire command down on the squad inside of the bunker, shooting down at this airborne squad. Managed to hit three times and get two sixes on his wounds. Guess Yay! <laughs> so Robin has killed off the NCO and the LMG. Woo-hoo. Rinse and repeat from that squad to this German squad. precision. It is very much German snipering. Oh, well, never mind. Next dice out of the bag is... It's better be, better be gold. It's a gold one. The British dice is put down against the airborne down here, past my uh, orders. So minus one on the pins. I moved them forward just onto the dense terrain. Took my shots against the bunker down here. Needed a seven, so I rolled a six. Rerolled it. You Got needed a... more like a eleven. Oh, well, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Pins and yeah. range and the minus four from the bunker, but it's always a seven, isn't it? So basically, the short of it is I didn't hit them. Didn't do, didn't do anything. So next dice out of the bag. You watch me pull a grey. I did not. Put my fire dice down on my sniper rifle. Took my shot at the grenadiers down here. Didn't exactly go according to plan because I missed. Yay! Next dice out of the bag is a grey. The remaining guy from the Panzer Shrek team that was down there behind that wall, I knew I should have shot him with my sniper rifle. Uh, ran- that, had you missed? Oh, well, yeah, true. I'd, I'd want to miss him. <laughs> so basically, he's rallied, he's moved, he, well, he's ran actually, and he's now inside this building, probably freeing up this squad to move out of that building. Uh, and Robin still holds that objective. So, next dice out of the bag is. a British. Oh dear. The airborne squad here that have taken quite a lot of fire, failed their morale test and have to uh, put the down dice next to them. A little bit irritating, but let's head over to the dice bag once more. Robin, German, brilliant. Robin has put the dice that came out of the bag next to the flamethrower Flame squad throwers, inside yeah. that building, so they've gone down. Next dice out of the bag was the British dice. So left, I've got the Piat team down here, uh, me, and then also this squad here. So I did decide to go with that squad and move them up and inside of that building, just mulling around. Now, realistically, I've got choices because this is an objective. But between there and there, with the open windows on that, that's a killing ground. Quite a nasty killing ground as well. So I don't really stickly want to be in that open. There is another door on this windmill this side. So I could come out and go towards the bushes, get a little bit of cover just not entirely sure with the door being around the back here how I'm going to take that bunker. Dice out of the bag time. It's another British. The British dice that came out of the bag I've put down on the first lieutenant. He's now moved up towards the windmill with that other squad. Again dilemma about what to do over that side of the battlefield. Let's go into the dice bag. There is two dice left. There is one of each 
and it's the British dice. The last of the British dice is down, obviously, on the Piat team. I ran them, I ran them up here so they get a bit of cover behind this bunker. Hopefully, getting in the line somewhere to have a shot at that Panther tank. Um, and there's only one dice left, and that will be the last of the German dice. So then, Robin, what are you doing? You're going down in there with the uh, Lutnant. Lutnant. So that is the end of turn two. British very slowly making their way up. We're taking a few casualties, making it a little bit harder to gain these objectives. These Germans are dug in like an Alabama tick. So at the start of turn three, we've got to work out what happens with the bombardment and the artillery shells down here. Obviously, they're inside a bunker, so that means it's slightly more harder to kill those troops. However, I might be able to pin them within an inch of their life. So let's roll the dice first on the artillery barrage. We get a one, which is a miscalculation. Miscalculation, it goes randomly 3d6. However, we are going to employ the use of an old school scatter dice. But Seems it to be coming back though. Yeah, that is true. So, this one, we're going to use the arrow on it. So, oh no. Is that, is that, <laughs> that's right towards. I don't think that's right towards the windmill. This is where the controversy of a. Uh, well, 3d6. Oh, 3d6. Okay, so it's not going to hit it anyway. So that's like, uh, what, 8? Yeah. So, yeah. There. Goes there. I destroyed a telegraph pole. Okay, so the blast, 8 inches, was enough to cover the guys inside this building, but not me. And then also the guys inside the bunker as well with the, with the blast of the windmill. And the bunker. Okay, Robin, so you basically roll me a one or a five. Two, so I get D3 pin markers on that unit. Do you want to roll that? I have three. I have three pin markers, you absolute nasty pasty. I roll a two, you get two pin markers. So, first dice out the back for turn three. Robin, do you want to do us the honours? It's a German dice. Robin put the fire dice down on the Panther tank, starting to be the bane of my life, that thing is. Uh, shot did the MMGs down into the airborne squad down there, killing off another two. One of them was exceptional, so he took out the SMG. And then finally, he fired with the HE shell down at this squad down here, but then missed. Missed. Yay. Ooh. Next dice out the back is to be a... Oh, <laughs> another German dice. Robin's dice that came out of the bag, he put down on the Grenadiers inside that building. He put an advance down, so they came out of the building. And then they shot down, because I'm now in the dense terrain, they can shoot me. Um, can't, we've counted it as um, heavy cover. Uh, but he managed to um, hit me, so put a pin on and kill off one of the guys in this squad. Robin, next dice out of the bag, it's your turn. No looking. It's a British dice, finally. I put the fire dice down on to my anti-tank gun down here. I've shot at the panther, I've hit, and I have penetrated. Rolled a six. So, I did roll a six to penetrate it, which is exactly what I wanted. So I've got normal uh, full damage on the tank. I told you, I told you. I've rolled a six. Because it always does. And that means that tank is completely destroyed and wrecked. Yes, that is the bane of my life, gone. So next dice out of the bag is going to be, it's another British dice. I put the advanced order dice down next to the squad on the edge of the dense terrain and I rolled snake eyes to pass morale. So I lost all of my pin markers because I rolled a five. Um, and then I moved forward, I shot down at these guys, didn't hit them, didn't do anything. All of them bounced. So Robin, it's your turn, come on, another dice out of the bag. It's another British dice. So I thought it's about time we got these guys back into the fight. I put the rally dice next to them. I went to pass their leadership. Pants. I absolutely pantsed it. And we rolled double six. We're onto the foobar table now. Oh no, not friendly fire. These guys are 12 inches away from those guys in that building. So they these are mistaken for Germans. Robin is now controlling this. So we've got one SMG in there. So two shots, Rob. Hitting on threes. Not threes. You're in. Oh, I mean dense, yeah, yeah. well, hard, so no. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five rifles. Of course, it's fives to hit me, isn't it? you got a hit on me. Uh-oh. No. Oh, if I'd 
you'd have killed off one of the own guys, that'd have been really bad and really sad. Next, yeah, I do get a pin. Oh, great, I've just got rid of all them blooming pins off that squad. Mm -hmm. Right, next dice out is a German dice. Here you go. Oh, you're going to like this. I'm not going to like this because this is going to involve the flamethrower squad. (laughs) (laughs) So, Robin with the annoying flamethrower squad stepped out and torch down here he has hit we have a six so then robin how many hits have you done six one <sighs> yes let's see if you can actually kill him off one guy dies yep one guy dies so then plus three because it's a flamethrower so basically then it's d3 pin markers now isn't it uh d3 pin markers <laughs> yeah, d3 plus one isn't it i think so i'll just double check that that's four and then does it run out of fuel yeah no. no brilliant honestly I've just removed all the pin markers from that squad and then Robin's going to put them all back on uh, again plus more which is really helpful but we have a British dice out of the bag this time I put the pin marker down next to the sniper team we shot down at the grenadiers down here managed to hit them but no wounds done Robin over to you with the bag come on what have you got it's another British dice is there any German dice left in there yeah, mm, damn it. Two, three, three. Ooh. The order dice are put down next to the Piat team. I've actually ran them, ran them round this side. Maybe a cheeky little run round here, trying to get into that objective there. Uh, I'll have to wait and see on that one. But over to the dice bag again. We have got another British dice. So with this order dice, I just put it next to the forward observer, and I've ran him up. Basically, I need to try and utilise him. Uh, I think I might need to because we've got stuck troops in the middle of the battlefield over there come on then Robin what do you got it's a German dice Ooh. Robin has put an ambush dice down next to these guys inside the bunker but then failed his morale so they have gone down Robin is sad Robin's next dice out of the bag was a German so he's put it on his lieutenant and he's gone up a level with the advance and then he's going to shoot at the poor boys in the forest The next order dice I put down on the squad inside of the windmill, I've put that to a run, a pass morale, and they've ran up. The reasoning is, is these guys are down, these guys are here. Now what I'm hoping at the start of turn four, the first dice out, is a British dice, and I can move again, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Robin, next dice out the bag, please, sir. It's a... It's a British dice. The last of the British dice came out of the bag and I put it on to the first lieutenant as Dan as a run. And then the final German dice that came out, Robin moved his one guy into this corner, took a shot and missed completely. So that's the end of turn three. The British now starting to push up, losing that Panther tank. Big, big moment, I think, in this game. But let's head over to turn four. First dice out of the bag in this new turn, Robin. What have you got? It's a German dice. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he's a happy bunny. Gee, I wonder where that's going to go. <laughs> so Robin has just passed morale and cleared all of his pins and he's put the fire command down on the guys inside the bunker. Not what I wanted to happen, and this is quite pivotal. So, Robin, um, basically, you're plus one because I'm within half range. There's lots and of dots. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twos. Yeah. So this is combined uh, MMGs, uh, sorry, LMGs and the assault rifles out of the two firing points. All hitting on twos. Oh god. Oh, there's one one. There's one one in there. Okay. No, this is not okay. This is far from okay. Fives to wound, Rich. I know. Watch this, Dicky. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Five guys. Five guys, and one exceptional, so that's your NCO. Obviously. Obviously. So these guys down here have passed their morale. Just. Just about, but taking a bit of... Minus four. And it's a British dice out of the bag. I think we know where this is going. The British order dice I took out, I put on to Dickey, and basically he moved forward, but he also did the snap two boys, which meant these boys could move, and I pulled their dice out, passed morale. Just. But only just. So the only reason I passed my is because of the uh, bonus that Dickie gave me. So these guys have ran up now. So we're up and onto that bunker, which is quite good. Next dice out of the bag. It's another British dice. British dice that got pulled out of the bag. I've put onto the Piet team. I've issued a run command. So they've now run from the edge of that bunker across 
a little bit away from that objective. So uh, yeah, over to the dice bag then. Robin, go on then, it's your turn. What have you got? It's another British dice. Dang it. I went to put the advanced order onto these guys here, but obviously with minus 37 pin markers, mm -hmm. it's a little bit hard to pass and they have failed that morale, so they have gone down. Next dice out, it's a German dice. Nice that you're actually gonna turn up to this game rather than just holding out for an entire turn there, Robin. Where are you going next? You're going to use your tank? Oh, no, wait. Oh! I was going to uh, use a flamethrower. Oh, you like that? No, I really, really don't. Next dice out the bag was German, so Robin has put that down onto the grenadiers down there, and he's set them to ambush. Come on, then. Pick me a dice, dude. Pick me a dice. No looking, no cheating. It's a British dice. That was an absolute thing of beauty. Basically, my sniper squad, I put the fire command down on them. They shot down inside of the building, which is the objective, with the remaining guy from the, the uh, Panzerschreck team, and shot him clean between the eyes. It was a beautiful shot. It was slow motion, anime-style death. You go to the bullet time and the, <laughs> the sniper elite game. Yeah, sniper elite. The Boom! Head exploded. There was a very wet <laughs> noise that came out of his head. Right, next dice out of the bag. Now we've elaborated on that more than what we probably should have done. <laughs> it's another British dice. That dice I put down onto my Ford Observer, which I've ran, so he's now steaming up that side of the battlefield. We pulled the next dice out. It was a German dice. Robin has put the fire command down onto the lieutenant. Just the, pin them out. You just barbecued me, so now you're going to try and pin them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Just got it here. Yeah, range and uh, dang, another pin on him. Though. It is another pin, which is equal to my starting morale because they started at ten because they're veterans, and you've just put the tenth ten <laughs> pins <laughs> onto that squad. Now with that squad completely and utterly destroyed, in the centre of the battlefield, it's back over to the dice bag. We routed them with pins. You did. It's. A British dice. Last two dice out of the bag were both British. So I put a rally command on these guys, managed to pass. I did D6. I rolled a two, so they're down to two pins on that one. And then I put the fire command on this guy, shot down at here, and then missed. So we're going to be turning over to turn five. <laughs> As we head into turn five, first dice out of the bag this round will be a British dice. Uh oh. Quite a bit of discussion was had whether or not I should actually assault and get into close combat with the guys inside the bunker. Robin took the lid off and I pooped myself a little bit because there's a lot of um, Waffen in there and they're all fanatics and I can't actually physically get in the building. I wish I had a flamethrower around about now, to be quite honest, but I decided to shoot instead, trying to make a little bit of room for me to get in. I did um, four hits. No, I didn't. I did four sixes, and then I needed another set of sixes, and didn't roll any. So, a little bit of stale down there. I need, oh, look how many there are in there. Next dice out of the bag then, Robin. Is. <gasps> it's a German dice. I wonder where this is going. Are the Waffen going to step out of that bunker and get into assault? Are they? There appears to be quite a large gap where the British Airborne was. That's because Robin decided <laughs> to step out of the bunker with all of his fanatics and assault me. He wiped them all out and has now consolidated back inside the bunker. So old Dicky is like, ah, oh, damn it, where did, the, where did they all go? But yes, it's. Uh, that's going to make that taking that bunker interesting now because there's a lot of Waffen in there and they're slightly evil. Ooh. And um, I've got one guy there to do it, and it's a German dice. Robin with the German dice that came out of the bag put an advanced onto the grenadiers. They've jumped back inside of the objective, shot down into the very poor and slightly battered British Airborne squad down here, killing off another one. Um, so we're over to the dice bag again. Let's see what we get. So with the German dice, Robin put it onto the flamethrower squad. He's ran them up. He's looking at barbecuing this poor little bewildered squad down here. We did do the next draw. It's another German dice. It's Robin's last one. It's going to be on his Lieutenant. Or however you say it. 
I think we're getting better saying it. The Lieutenant has had a run command put on him and he's come out of the building. Now basically every single dice left in this bag is going to be British. So let's see what we can actually do. Uh, not sure. The next two dice that came out of the bag. First one I put down onto this squad, I advanced them and I passed morale. So they moved and they shot. They did no damage against the flamethrower squad though, so that was a bit rubbish. Uh, the sniper squad however, took a pot shot, managed to get an exceptional kill and I took out the actual flamethrower guys. So now try and barbecue those boys. With the next two dice, I put them on to the um, Piat team. They've moved into there. They open fire here, no damage. The uh, forward observer, he ran into that building as well. The anti-tank gun tried to fire his HE shell at the troops in the objective, no damage. And Dickie tried to shoot in through the windows of the bunker down there. Moran used to roll a six and then failed to follow it up with another six. As we enter the sixth and final turn, the first dice out of the back is going to be a British dice. The dice is put down next to the sniper. Try to take a pot shot at the team in the objective. I missed. I actually missed. Oh, well, never mind. Robin, come on. Next dice out of that bag. What have you got? Is it British or German? It's a German dice. Poor Dickie. Dickie is dead. Basically, the Fanatics ran out, slaughtered him, and then ran back inside that building. So the Waffen have done quite well this game by not really doing much and stay inside a building. Cowardly. Shooting. Cowardly. Shooting and stabbing anything that came near. However, that bunker's done exactly what it was designed to do, yeah. and that was keep the uh, keep the enemy at bay, which is what it's done. But we're going to be moving over to the bag again. Next dice out. It's another German. <laughs> you know, there's a lot more British dice. <laughs> there. there is a lot more in there. Where are you going with this one, then? Uh, I might as well just shoot these boys. Wow. Bit harsh. The Grenadiers inside that building were given the advanced, so they moved and they shot down at the Piat squad, basically wiping them out. That radio operator has got a very, very large mission on his hands. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it. He's but... like John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have to do something very, very special, but Robin has uh, managed to take another British dice out of the bag by killing out that Piat team. So over to the dice bag. The next one out is going to be a British dice. About blooming time. Okay, something really annoying just happened. Basically, I've put the fire command down on my anti-tank vehicle, well, anti-tank gun. I know, I'm shooting at men inside a building, but I shot down here. Um, basically, because Robins moved them, they're, they're, over, they're at long range. Basically, they're like 31, 32 inches, which is over half, so they're at long range. And I rolled a five, and they did it a six. So they've missed. So back to the dice bag again. It's another British dice. Well, things are just going from bad to worse. I've just literally pulled out a dice on this, put the run command next to them, and failed my order because of their pins. So they've gone down. Brilliant. Next dice, Robin. It's another British dice. There are one. Is there one German dice left in there? Yes, for your loot to Nant. Uh, two. Two in there? Yeah. Ooh. The... Ooh, interesting. And him. Oh, yeah. I forgot about him. Fudge. Forward Observer shot down into the Grenadiers down here. Basically needed fours and I rolled a two and a three. So that was really good. And then Robin has managed to rally the um, Observer for the Sniper and uh, move around there. Apparently he's going to get to shoot the Sniper. He's going to shoot the Sniper because the Sniper has killed his buddy. So all my special weapons have been killed by this Sniper. So he's now going to kill the Sniper. I'm going to get an exceptional shot and take out that Sniper. And then the next game, He's going to be a sniper. Okay, so he's going to get a promotion and become <laughs> a sniper. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Okay, come on then, roll. That's how it's going to work. You're going to miss now, aren't you? Damn it. Yep, soldier. <laughs> next. So, the next dice out of the bag. It can only be a German. Is a oh, German. That's a surprise. So. So, uh, yeah, that's my commander. Yeah, you, Luke and, Nance, what's uh, he going to do? He's just going to uh, move back in the building. Oh, okay. I'm just stayed him there but okay yeah, fine then so we just roll the dice see if we get an extra turn and we do robin rolled a four. First two dice out of the bag first one went on to this squad here managed to uh, pass the order move forward went to shoot these guys in the building no damage done second dice went against 
the uh, anti-tank gun shot down at those guys in the building missed again Robin what's the next dice out of the bag mate come on what have we got it's another British dice, thank you very much. I put the advance down onto the Ford Observer, moved him into that building and shot. Managed to kill off one with an exceptional, which I put onto the NCO. So the NCO died, but then Robin rolled a three, because then obviously a normal guy becomes the NCO. So For Germans. For the Germans. Anyway, so basically they haven't lost the NCO and I've just killed off a normal guy, but there's one person missing from that squad. Robin put the next German dice down onto the loader <laughs> from the... Uh, from the uh, flamethrower squad he took a shot at the sniper at a point blank range and missed absolutely yeah, whiffed it's not, it it's not a sniper okay. basically this that, guy is crap yeah that's why you were the loader the guy that holds the bloody pipe yeah for the uh, do, you know what do you know what I'm going to insult him even more I'm going to completely ignore him like he's irrelevant <laughs> All the dice are now out of the bag. Robin put the down onto the guys inside the bunker, the Waffen, because nothing they can do. Down on the Lieutenant here. He put the fire command down onto the Grenadiers who shot at poor Dave, the radio operator, and splattered him. Now I did say I was going to ignore the spotter from the uh, flame first squad, but I didn't. I shot with the sniper rifle without the scope, and I shot with the SMG, and somehow, this guy is still alive. That's really irritating. At the end of the game, the British have failed to take the objectives. The bunker is still being held by the Waffen SS. The middle objective is still being held by the Lieutenant. And then the Grenadiers hold the third of the bunker. So actually quite a decisive victory for the Germans there. Even though the British had more numbers, it was very, very hard to get across the battlefield. But let's head over to the post-game review. So hi guys, welcome to the post-game review. What an absolutely fantastic game of bolt action yeah, that's really been. Fun. That was really good fun, wasn't it? And it was really, really close, actually. It, towards the end, yeah, okay, like the last well, yeah, when, six when turns. You, when you killed turn. my uh, panther, I was like, oh dear. And me. Oh dear. No. This might be a bit of a problem, seeing how that <laughs> panther's about 300 points and we're about 1,000 points. <laughs> kind of put a lot of eggs in the basket there, didn't I? You did. And to be honest, it did what it does really well. It destroyed a tank quite easily. It was putting fire down onto that um, airborne squad. Yeah, was... which kept them pinned down for pretty much the entire game. Yeah, it really. did. And that, that, was, that was kind of my battle plan with this, I thought. Because mm. the, the temptation is just to sort of run out with your flamethrower team and just try and get them in position. But actually... Knowing that Richard's got to come to me, yeah. I was able just to sort of uh, you know keep my guys back and wait for targets to present myself. That's why I was trying to do things like ambushes and yeah. and things. So um, I think that that tactic probably worked out quite well for me in the end. Yeah, I think it did as well. But I think that I think it worked really well for you because I had to get across. Yes, we had dense trade in there. Yes, we got heavy cover and stuff like that yeah. in there. But just to get across into the objectives and. To be honest, I probably went for the hardest one to get out of all the objectives, which was yeah, the, bunker the bunker with the Waffen yeah, in it. Yeah, you committed a lot to I that. I did commit a lot to it because I know how horrible and nasty the Waffen can be. But then on the flip side, I've also got really lucky in previous games where I've wiped them out like that. Yeah. So, it, it, yeah, it was a difficult one. I went for that bunker. Hindsight, I'd have probably gone for the other side of the battlefield and then yeah, worked my way yeah. up this. Yeah. But then you've got a Panther tank sitting on there. And if I hadn't have destroyed it, that's blocking me from getting to some of those other objectives in there so yeah. it's because it, it was within three inches yeah it was holding the objective exactly well, so. you've got to try and destroy a panther tank to take an objective not exactly the most easiest of things to do it says well, yeah. it says it's one shot from your was it your 17 pounder or whatever your gun it was, was indeed the 17 yeah. pounder went straight through the hull and destroyed it with a six shocking <sighs> he always does it I'm not surprised whenever he points at one of my tanks <laughs> it doesn't matter I can have a mouse on there and it just <laughs> die immediately. <laughs> no, but what a great game. Like I said, it's been quite a long time since we've played bolt action. And that game for me has just refired the, the, yeah, love, yeah, the love for it and the mechanics and how that all works. I think it's absolutely yeah. it's fantastic. It's a lot more balanced than some of the games we play. It is a lot more Mentioning balanced. Mentioning nothing. Oh, I'm a boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all the guns are the same. Oh, sorry. The vehicle, you know everything does pretty much exactly the same it's the little traits that do things differently and that's what makes this such a great game to play it's, all, it's also think. a lot quicker as well. Yeah, it is a lot quicker so I mean we, we're used to playing that other game um, and 
to film a game of that, it literally takes us all day. Hours and hours and hours. All I mean, you day. say that, this has almost taken us six hours to film. Nah, it's been a lot of messing around. That was a bit a fair bit of messing around. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's been a really great game. I'm definitely going to be adding to the British. Um, I think the next thing I've got to paint up is a light mortar and a flamethrower squad. So I am going to barbecue the Germans as you just barbecued me. I'm going to get revenge on you. That was horrendous. I love him. <laughs> you really do love that flamethrower flame 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 And then you had so little... Fun. Just to see Richard's face. <laughs> Every time when he with the flamethrower tea pops out, it's like... Oh, there's just barbecued your entire force. I think we need to have some house rules of shooting a flamethrower yeah. into a wood as well. Yeah, you, you know. said this. We have to just skim the rules. <laughs> there's got to be something. There's got to be. Come on. Because surely the wood would catch fire. Sure. But also the fact that I shot the flamethrower guy and he didn't go boom. Yeah, we need to explode a flamethrower guy. You know, th- this this battle we were saying as we were playing through, basically every cinematic moment you've seen in every war movie, we pretty much reenacted in this battle. <laughs> Pretty much, Apart actually. Apart from the flamethrower guy blowing up, you know, that's that's what we need to see. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Was that wind, wind, wind talkers? Was it can, I just, can I just say yeah. that if we're going to do that, it has to be the Germans. So if the British flamethrower explodes, he doesn't explode. He just... No, he, he, he heroically um, no. rolls, rolls and... I'll tell you what, we'll have, I'll tell you what, comment <laughs> below. Do you think we should add a house rule that if you should kill of the flamethrower infantry guy... On a roll of a six, he explodes. <laughs> D6 inches. Okay, I was going to go D3 inches. D6 inches. D, D, all right, D3. Just three inches. Th- okay, three inches. <laughs> so he kills his own squad kind of thing, yeah. but he could take out, because that's what used to happen. Yeah. Or if you're in closer quarters, he could take out some of the friendlier units as well. What do you think? Comment below. Do you think we should have a house rule for exploding? For <laughs> Shut up, Siri. Uh, do you think we should have a house rule for exploding flamethrowers I think that would be quite fun actually yeah it'd be quite fun <laughs> that would be quite fun but yeah no another beautiful looking um, battlefield in our opinion yeah please comment below what do you think do you think nah, it was alright it wasn't great or was it was it okay looking um, but yeah no thank you for watching guys please leave us a like and a comment below because it does massively help out the channel. Why not subscribe if you haven't done so already? Don't forget to click that bell icon so that you never miss any of our content. Don't forget to check out the affiliate link in the description below where you can help support the channel by buying things from Warlord Games that you'd have probably brought anyway. Um, And as always, we'll see you on the next one.